Wonderful good day, ladies and gentlemen, to the mining news on Commodity TV. Wisla Silver is once again expanding its copper deposit by 150 meters to the south, drilling nearly 1,600 grams of silver per ton over almost 6 meters. In total, there were new drill results from 16 extension holes. Additional holes returned almost 400 grams silver equivalent over 4.9 meters and 2,740 grams silver equivalent over 2.1 meters, consisting out of 1,319 grams silver and 22.46 grams gold per ton. Fantastic results. Step out drilling along the southern extent of Kopala continued to deliver high grade results over wide widths that extend beyond the January 2023 recent resource wireframe. This is again expected to increase significantly with a new resource estimate. Currently, four drill rigs are working targeting Kopala, with three focused on expanding the current resource base to the south and one exploration rig testing lateral potential to the north. With numerous open intercepts containing very high grades of silver and gold in large intervals up to 82 meters thick, the Kopala structure remains fully focused for both resource expansion and exploration ahead of the next resource update scheduled for the fourth quarter of 2023. Vista Silver remains a core silver asset. HC Raymite has a price target of 2.5 US dollars or 3 Canadian dollars 40. We fully agree with that. Targa Exploration is acquiring all of the shares of Pan Canadian Lithium Corp in a share exchange. Pan Canadian Lithium holds mining claims for highly prospective lithium projects in Saskatchewan and Ontario in Canada. The claims cover a total of almost 50,000 hectares and were identified from regional lake sediment samples. These samples are from the provincial geochemical data collection and show strongly anomalous grades of lithium indicator elements. Targa believes that the projects have significant potential for lithium-bearing pegmatites. Targa will now have prospective lithium pro projects in Quebec, Manitoba, Saskatchewan and Ontario. These underexplored claims are in mining-friendly jurisdictions and show signs of being strongly amenable to lithium. 2023 should be interesting for the company. Discovery Silver just reported Q1 2023 PFS completion for Codero showed an 18-year mine life with average annual production of fantastic 33 million ounces silver equivalent at average AIC of only $12.80 per ounce silver equivalent over the first 12 years. The after-tax NPV at 5% is $1.2 billion and the IRR is 28% at metal prices of $22 for silver, $1,600 for gold per ounce and $1 for lead per pound and $1.20 for zinc. The closing of the financing raised 51.75 million Canadian dollars, which puts the company on strong footing to complete the feasibility study quickly. Drilling of 9,000 meters at Cordero is planned for 2023. In parallel with the FS work, the company plans to move forward with the construction permitting process for Cordero. Submission of the environmental impact statement to the Mexican Federal Environmental Agency is planned for the end of this quarter. Assuming a 12 to 24 months permitting period, this would enable the company to make a potential construction decision toward the end of 2024. It is worth noting that on Saturday, April 29, uh, 2023, the Mexican government passed legislation amending several laws related to mining and water concessions. The company and also other companies is awaiting further details on these amendments, including publication of the approved laws in the official gazette to determine the impact, if any, on the company's operations. With over $80 million and no debt, they are in a very good position. Discovery Silver has an in initial price target of $2.75 Canadian cents on our point and figure chart. Longer term, we see the stock at $5.00. Canadian Please note the disclaimer shown now. The stock discussed or stocks discussed are part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate and I'm a shareholder in the companies. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Switzerland.